Oh, let's go. I think this is Oi Wharf in Japan. Oh, that was sick. Right on the curb, too, and he slapped the bumper with the glow stick. Today, we're looking at some sick street drifting from all over the world. We're gonna go to Japan. We're gonna hang out in the US a little bit. We'll go to Russia. So, so for me, here where there's not other traffic and pedestrians sitting around, I really don't have an issue with it because they're like choosing a time and a place. They're not endangering anyone who doesn't want to be in danger. I think that's the biggest thing for me is when... Oh, well, there is a fan. Yo, that's actually a sick spot. I like spots like that that are like in the mountain. Oh my God, that was vicious. Oh, some night toge action, let's go. So crazy, it's just like a train of cars. This is like just next level. Whoa. Oh, right on the inner curve, that was sick. That guy was an animal, that was like talented driving. A lot of these guys are really freaking good, I'm not even gonna lie. Except for this guy who is off in the ditch. It, he's drifting around the police officer and then he crashed. Look at him, <laughs> he's chasing after him. Oh, a little tandem action. That car in the front's sick, JZX. I actually like the green with the graphics on it too, it's dope. That car just looks like smooth and flowy. I feel like that's a good with a lot of the street drifting cars is they're just set up to be kind of smoother, a little bit easier to drive and just flow. They, and they always like look really good. Nice low stance, like sick body kit on them, all that stuff. Oh my God, this thing sounds nuts. What is it? Is that a Supra? Oh, a Toyota Supra. That's sick actually. I feel like I don't ever see Toyota Supras street drifting. It's tight. Oh, it sounds savage. Oh, is that a Skyline? Let's go, R34. That's literally like my favorite car. I'm, I'm addicted to Skylines. Comment below what your guys' favorite drift car is. I wanna know. All right, now we're headed over to Portugal for some street drifting. I didn't even know there was a sick scene over there. This is crazy. I love, okay, those weird, like the weird hatch, like E36s, I don't know the exact like term for them, but with like that weird stubby back end, I think those are just like the weirdest, but like cool little cars. Oh, some nice proximity. Let's go. Oh, that's that's sick. Five car train on the on-ramp. All right, as promised, we're headed to Russia. Check out some street trips in there. These guys are freaking nuts. Yo, this is a sick course. I'm like calling it a course, but like, this is tight. I like courses like that where you have like a high speed entry and then somewhat of a slowdown and then an acceleration again. It really brings like, it brings some more flavor to it than it just being like fast the whole time or just really tight and technical. Like you kind of go back and forth and that, that just creates some fun. You have to kind of plan for that. If you do maybe you're like low angle, your high speed, and then you add in some angles so you can slow down for that tighter turn. And stuff like that just makes it really, really fun. Like I got freaking pumped up. Oh, I gotta see a skyline drift. Let's go. Oh, there he is. In the chase. Oh, never mind. Now he's in the lead. Oh, Manji in the straight. That like flick into that those corners looks so freaking fun. All right, so this guy's in a BMW E36. I think he's in the US. I'm not sure though. No, no. Why did I say that? Never mind. Look at the license plates. <laughs> Comment below. Where are you guys at? Are you like you want to see a big fast entry, or can you respect some manjing of the straight? For me, it depends on the circumstance and the car. I have to say though, if you haven't done it, like don't knock it till you try it. I think it's pretty freaking fun. And to me, I mean, this guy's putting a lot of other people at risk, but it does look like a pretty good time, I'm not gonna lie. The thing with street drifting is like, oh, he's about to spin out. He's like max angled. Nice, that was good. That was really, really good. All right, now we're in the old good US of A. Another BMW E36. I, it's interesting, like when I was trying to find street drifting videos for this, there's so many BMW street drifting videos. Like, I feel like that's the most common street drifting car on YouTube right now, it's weird. Weaving through there. This is actually like a cool little course. This would be super fun. It's like, it's slow, but super technical. Oh, weaving through the curves. Very nice. Ooh. See, something like this, I feel like is not harming anyone. And this is just fun. Like. They're all 360. Oh, Miata gang. Aaron, my editor's gonna be pumped on this. Let's go, nice entry. A little straighten out there though, but just nice correction. I like it. They have pretty good speed going through here. This is good. That Miata is freaking booking it. What the heck? That, thing's, that thing looks fast as sh honestly. 
He's still going. He's like, screw this. I'm not done. Whoa, this car is crazy and the spot is crazy. What the heck? Dude, you're going to ruin your freaking car. This is like... That's a pretty insane looking spot though, I'm not gonna lie. That's that's pretty badass. Oh, this guy is cooking. Full send in the Z, in the wet. No hesitation either. That was like full commitment. The LS swap hatch 240, that is just a, definitely a proven combo. See, this isn't a bad spot. Just going through a little construction zone as long as you don't mess anything up. <laughs> Yo, this spot looks crazy. That is so freaking cool looking. So gnarly. Smooth with the steering too, I like it. All right, now we're hopping on over to the UK with Monkey London. These guys are cool. I like, when I first got into drifting, I came across these guys on YouTube and I just, I don't know. I just always thought they were freaking cool. Oh, the boys are getting it. Really nice like matching of the angle and the line on there, honestly. like. And in, again, in the street, it's like a different thing. So I definitely, that was tight. Now get up in there, dog. This is so gnarly, like drifting through here, like if you go off the side, you're done. Like you're going into the forest. No helmet, just freaking ripping. Oh, that was sick. Just weaving right through there. So good. Yo, what do we have here? So eight times E36's street drifting. That's a little hand holding going on. That is a pretty crazy shot though. That looks sick. Oh my God, that is tight. The camera work on this is sick too. I really like it. That is an epic shot. Like that would be a sick ass poster, honestly. What is the deal with all the BMWs street drifting? They're like the street drifting car of choice everywhere but Japan. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Nice, nice, nice. Got out of the way. Heck yeah. That's like the worst when you spin and there's people behind you. Like, you kind of have to make a quick decision and a quick calculation. And I've, I've definitely messed that up some. Oh, yo. Oh, hit the, just hit the curve there. That was sick though. Oh, the cops. Oh, and they're right there, just drifting away. This video is crazy. Just the boys, just ripping. This, this is so sick. Oh, now they're in the toge. This is a, this is a freaking tight one too. No. Oh, he had nowhere to go. Like, the way he like spun out, he tried letting it roll back some, but I believe he, he hit the rail in there and then that guy hit him. God. It does happen, like that's, it's, sometimes it is like unavoidable. All right, if you enjoyed this video, check out our merch on hit that subscribe button, watch this video, we'll see you soon. Peace.